Hi, my name is Elizabeth Fursey. I was not born in a Christian home. Um, I guess you'd say my parents were atheists. Um, I had a very difficult childhood and even the mention of God or Jesus in our home was just ridiculed. I was a very introverted child and I spent a lot of my time trying to get um, acceptance from my parents, which um, never seemed to really happen. It was uh, really just difficult for me growing up as a child. Several years after the birth of my youngest child, um, my husband and I decided that we needed something else in our life, so we started looking for a church, and we found a church. One Sunday, the pastor was preaching on the lost coin, and along with that, and one of the choir members singing Alabaster Box, something inside of me stirred, and I knew that my something was changing inside of me. Um, at the end of the sermon, there was an altar call, and um, I asked Jesus to come into my life. We served, both of us served in the church. I served in the children's ministry, and some issues came up in the church and um, prompted my husband and I to leave, and that was very hurtful for me. Um, I was confused because I had made the mistake of putting this certain pastor on a pedestal, and I kind of lost my faith in the pastor and of Jesus, and um, we tried to find a church after that, but we were unable to find one that, that we felt that we could grow in. I was invited to Integrity by a real good friend of mine, Susan Reed, and um, I loved the church the first day I came in. I started coming every week, and I loved the way that the Bible was, was taught, you know, scripture by scripture, and everything was, you know, unpacked and verse by verse, and it was easy for me to understand, and I loved the people here, and I just felt welcome as soon as I, I came in. My heart has softened so much. I feel like I was a hard person before, and I feel empathy towards things that I never felt empathy before now, and I was always really wary of people, and I, I still am very, very self-conscious, tremendously self-conscious. And I just feel like everybody here just opened up to me completely. And there was no judgment at all. I've never felt any judgment at all from this church, anybody in this church. The people in the church are so important on, on keeping you on the right path and keeping you uh, open and, and showing you things you need to see. And it's, it's, it's both, it's everything, it's the whole it's the whole package. It's Jesus and God and this church and the people in it. And he's just like working through the people too. And he's just, everybody's saying things to me that are making me just realize what I've been missing my whole life. It's like, oh my gosh, it, it's just like a whole new world now. There's hope. There's always hope. And Jesus is, he gives you hope. Every day I wake up and I feel that little twinge and I know that he's in there. I mean, I've got a, I've got a long way to go, but my life has changed in the last like month. It's changed.